I am Rajneesh Gupta and with me I have Jevin Patak. This is a mock interview session for security analyst and SOC analyst. Okay, so the process is again going to be same. Uh, Jevin will be the interviewer and I'll be the candidate and he will ask me certain questions and I'll answer him. He may ask some counter questions as well. Okay, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you are al al already subscribed to my channel, make sure uh, you press the bell icon so that you can not get notified whenever we publish a new video. All right. So without taking much time, let's get started. So hi, Javin. How are you? Hello, Rajesh. I'm good. How are you? Good, good, good. Great. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. So Rajesh, my first question is on dot one X. Okay. Do you know what is dot one X? Yeah. I know about it. Yes. Great. So what is your experience with that, with it? Well, yes. Yeah. So uh, basically, uh, uh, .1x, it's used as the kind of uh, authorization or I would say the authentication and authorization for devices they are trying that are trying to connect to the LAN network or wireless network. OK, so it's widely used in the enterprise network. And it requires it basically enforces that there will be an uh, authentication before the device get access to the network resources. Maybe you know, uh, maybe uh, in the uh, uh, it could be a user machine. You, you lose your laptop or bring your own device kind of a mechanism where we have our uh, you know tab or Android devices or computer. So. Uh, the authentication the user get authenticated based on multiple factor there is a uh, uh, you know product called Cisco Ice, Aruba clear pass uh, they have a certificate based authentication they have a mac address bypass based authentication and in this architecture there are mainly three components there is supplicant there is authenticator and there's uh, authentication server okay so uh, Basically, supplicant is the user. Okay, it can user uh, the company user employee. Uh, employee can have their com uh, company owned devices, or they can have their employee owned devices. Maybe they they brought their home lap home laptop or uh, their tab as well. So that that device becomes supplicant, and then next the request goes to the authenticator. Now the authenticator could be a wireless uh, controller or access point or uh, it could be a switch as well so that acts as the authenticator and then finally the authenticator send the request to the authentication server and that basically can be uh, you know uh, can be device like cisco ice i i s e and or can be device like aruba clearpass okay uh, i have worked in majorly i mean i've been i've, I've, I've worked as a security analyst but uh, you know, uh, I I have been coordinating with uh, different team, security engineer and network security engineer. So I know about how Aruba ClearPass or Cisco Ice uh, authentication policy or authorization policies are created, and how they get integrated with the devices like mobile device management, uh, like um, you know different other devices like Microsoft Intune or um, you know IBM 360 devices as well. Uh, from my point of view, as a security analyst, I I conducted vulnerability scanning in the network where I ran the uh, tenable uh, vulnerability scanners, and uh, you know the scanning was done against the routers, switches, uh, access point, and I came across those dot one x authentication best practices and uh, some vulnerability related to dot uh, one x as well. That's where uh, when I found those vulnerability, I informed the network security team to fix those vulnerability, and then I coordinated them to you know to make sure it it get patched in the system. So that that's what my experience have been with the dot one x. So yeah. Okay. Got it. Sure. So the next question is, what is the difference between dot one x and the radius? Sure. So uh, basically, they are, uh, you know, uh, uh, they are two different uh, thing in a, in a very different manner because 
radius is like a networking protocol it's, it's provide three different service uh, you know when we talk about the radius it, it's a standard protocol but it pro it's majorly used for three major purpose it's called triple a in short for authentication authorization and accounting whereas dot one x is majorly uh, to provide network access control okay it's to make sure those devices who are authorized can only access the company resources, whether in the wired or wireless network. Okay, so it's mainly dot one x is majorly used on the switch level or maybe on the wireless access point level. But if you look at the triple A, I mean the radius, uh, you know, it is used in multiple mechanism, dial up, VPN, uh, within the in in the in the in the Nexus access control as well. It can be used whenever we let's say we have. Uh, uh, you know, dot uh, one X architecture, it can be used on the authentication server as well. But usually in the current enterprise network, radius becomes the uh, basic necessity, uh, you know, because organization needs something beyond uh, AAA as well, authentication, authorization and uh, accounting as well. So they need something beyond like BYOD and uh, all those protocol. Okay. So that's why organization uses devices like Cisco, Ice, and Aruba. Uh, when we talk about uh, how exactly they work and everything, again, Radius has mechanism like user and password, password credential, or uh, they maintain the database of uh, credentials where or they can organize based on groups as well. But dot one x based authentication works in a, a, a framework where we have supplicant authenticator or an authentication server. So the the request comes from the supplicant, then goes to the authenticator and from authenticator like switches or wireless devices, it, it goes to the authentication servers like Cisco ICE or Aruba ClearPass. And so, yeah, I mean, the, these are some of the major difference. If you look at the scope of their working, so, uh, you know, uh, uh, dot one x is the port based control for both uh, wired and wireless devices but um, if you talk about the radius it's a centralized database of AAA for all the various network devices it could be router switches or any any network devices to be very specific so yeah that, that's the major difference between both of them so yeah okay got it so yeah rajnish this is all i have for today all right so sure thank you thank you so much Jamin. so guys no. now it's time for some pro tip um we'll cover some pro tip now uh, so basically remember one thing uh, uh in 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 while you do the such kind of interview the chances are you might not come across such question but i we made sure this is there because there have been uh, around 30% of the time that su such kind of a protocol have been asked because, uh, you know, when you do the vulnerability scanning, when you look at the uh, vulnerability management and everything, this is the important element. And even if you are working on a security engineering job, this dot one X and radius is also very important. Now, remember one thing, if you don't have an experience, don't know anything about it, uh, you know, just honestly say, I, I haven't, or I, I didn't get a chance to work with it, or I, I don't know about it. Just simply say no. If you know about this protocol a little, you do have a basic idea about 802.1x standard, and but you don't have a practical exposure, I would recommend, you know, uh, I would recommend at least have a basic idea. But if you don't know, just simply say don't know about dot one x okay? Because this is very... Uh, be, it's very easy to judge if you cannot answer something uh, from the practical side. So try to ignore, the, uh, you know, try to ignore doing it, okay? Because this could be uh, very uh, challenging as well. So make sure if you haven't worked with it, just simply say, no, I haven't worked with it. Uh, if, you, if you know about what is dot one x but you don't know how it is being used in the industry, just simply tell them what are the different components. So make sure you talk about uh, the framework where you have a supplicant, authenticate, uh, authenticator, and authentication server. This is the very important thing. And uh, you know, know about the devices like Cisco Ice and Aruba ClearPass. So these are the leading, uh, you know, uh, 
leading access control solutions that support it, support the dot x in the environment as well okay so these are the uh, some of the pro tips that i wanted to share with you all right so this is me uh, with jemin patak if you have any question do let us know in the comment section we would love to answer that bye for now